This is Greg from Carbomb, and you're watching Heavy New York. What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are back at the Kingsland in Brooklyn, and we are here with Greg of Carbomb, one of New York City's own. Thank you for your time. Man. What's going on, man? Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's so awesome to have you here. Your newest record, Memorial, is absolutely kick-ass. What I'm curious is, were you just like making a direct continuation of meta or do you think that this record is more or less kind of like a standout in your catalog uh both so we we're trying to evolve the so uh, sound a little bit from w click w to from and meta to mordial so it's a little more of like gratitude type sounds but also has a little more sonic sonically different sounds of like different effects and different rhythm ideas and it's sort of like it's i think we started in one spot and we're sort of diffusing into all these different directions and it kind of covers more of those different directions now. Okay. Yeah. It's fair to say, though, your music is very, very experimental. So, like, it has to be a little easier to try new things, right? It's not like you really are pigeonholed into a certain... Absolutely, yeah. Like, we're, we all have day jobs, so we don't do this for a living. Mm -hmm. So we feel like we can do whatever we want. Like, the first song on the record is a lighter song, which is something we haven't really done on a record. So, like, we feel like we can do stuff like that now if we want to. Yeah. Playing a lighter song versus a heavier song, that has to be like a completely different energy, like playing live, right? Or like a completely different strategy almost. We haven't played it live yet, so we don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we're in for a treat. Maybe we'll... No. Nope. <laughs> we're not playing it tonight. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck us. <laughs> but uh, one thing I was um, always curious about is, you know, I've seen you live now so many times. I think this is going to be like my fifth time seeing you live. And like, it's always so different seeing you live than just simply listening to the album. It, it, is it a different energy playing your music live than when you're like in the studio or a jam spot or anything like that? Sure, because we're always working on the material as we're recording it. Like it's sort of evolving through like in the studio with like especially vocally like vocally like it doesn't really come into fruition until the very end it's like when you put those little effects on everything and you had the little uh the mastering and all that stuff you finally hear what the album's going to be like but live we know what it is and you just it's all on autopilot yeah. yeah so is it fair to say that when you're writing you don't really work off of like a preconceived idea or anything like that you kind of improvise a little bit uh a little bit we do a lot of the improvising before we hit the studio it's more of the like the channels and the tracks and all that stuff and the arrangements of like guitars and effects and stuff like that mm -hmm. for you like being a guitarist is it easier to like come up with ideas when you're with your entire band or do you like to sometimes be alone in order to come up with like riff or solo I, i'm pretty much a dude who just locks himself in a closet and like messes around with cubase and tries to come up with ideas myself for the most part uh elliot and john do come up with other ideas themselves and mike does the same thing like once he gets the music he goes into his cave and he does his thing. And then we have a lot of feedback once we have something to work with. Then we go, okay, let's make this part a little shorter or let's add, maybe we'll do like a singing part here or, you know, do a little drum solo there, like that type of thing. Very interesting. Um, do, do you have to be in like a certain um, mindset in order to get into songwriting mode or do you sometimes just come out with a, come up with an idea like just out of the blue and like... Either or. So... I'm really into like Steven Pressfield, like trying to do something every day, like just show up. Like if you don't show up, it's not going to come. So we, I always try to write something at least once a day. If it's just a riff or a, a, like a tone or something just to get it down, record it, and then just put it in the vault. So when you're ready to like write a record or a couple of songs, you have something to pull from. Okay, fair enough. Here's the most difficult question that I like to yeah. ask every artist. How do you know when a song is done? You never do, and like half the songs on Mordial, I don't think are done yet. Really? Yeah, I feel like there's like little things where like ah, we could have like tweaked it there, or we could have done a little something. Yeah. yeah. You ever yeah. worried that like the song you fix over, or like the song you crop out, or whatever, is going to be on like a B side and just be the biggest hit you guys ever had? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we we try to fit every song that we write onto the record. Like we have. Maybe like five or six songs we didn't put on Wardio, but they weren't finished, so they're not really full songs yet. But ones that are done, we we put on. Even so, Fade Out and Vague Skies were the two that we weren't really sure about if they were going to actually make the record, but we just plowed through to get it done, and they wound up on it. How do you know that those other songs you cropped out aren't done yet? <laughs> they could be done to some people, exactly. It's all it's, but it's all how you feel. It's all like when like your whatever perception you have of your own art or music or whatever that's what you go by and no one can really tell you what it is it's all about how you feel inside about it of course 
And I have two more questions for you. Um, being, you know, I've, you know, you've played with Gojira, you've played with Dillinger Escape Plan, you played with Candiria, you've played with many bands of like many different styles, and I know that you're about to go on tour with uh, Born of Osiris, right? So have you noticed like a different like crowd or maybe a different reaction to your music depending on like the tour slots you've been on? We always get the same reaction to new f- people, and it's always just standing there with their hands crossed and not knowing what to do. Uh, so that's we're we're used to that. We've been doing that since day one. So, uh, but it's weird when people are into the music and they know all the parts and all the stops and all the lyrics. That's when it gets interesting because then you're like, wait a second, like people actually like listen to our stuff. So mm-hmm. that's always fun. Of and the final question I want to ask you is being a New York band. I haven't asked this band in a while because it's been a while since I interviewed a New York band. I'm sorry, New Yorkers. I'm totally betraying you. But uh, what is your take on like the New York City scene uh, nowadays now? I mean, there's a lot of great bands out here. You know, sure, venues have closed. Bands broke up. But your take on the New York City metal scene now, especially since Car Bomb's been around for a while now. We've been sort of in hibernation, so we don't know. Uh, I still love going to St. Vitus, and I love going to... Um like Duff's and all that stuff. Those are the two bars that I usually go to as far as the scene goes. I haven't been to a show in forever, so I'll let you know like in a couple of months or so. Yeah, There's always great shows happening at Lucky 13 yeah. or Vitus. Yeah, true. Absolutely. Yeah, I've been there in a while. It's been like a good year since I've been to Lucky 13. So. Yeah. You should be going there. They just got a new stage. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, they just expanded, expanded so, it. Cool. Awesome. So before I go, I want to thank you so much for your time today. Uh, just so I know that you got the upcoming tour with Born of Osiris. Is there just anything else with Car Bomb you'd like to promote that you're allowed to say? No, Bandcamp, Instagram, Facebook. Come to a show, hang out, have a good time. That's it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Greg. Dude, no problem, man. Everybody, we are here with Greg of Car Bomb. Be sure to pick up Mordial if you haven't already. This is Alex from Heavy New York. We'll see you next time.